Hey what's up guys, so today we are going to be playing some House Flipper, so I hope you enjoy the video, if you do don't forget to drop that like, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any future awesome content. So let's just get straight into it, so we're in my first little office, I have played this game a little bit before this video just to get the hang of it, build up some money, so we can get a nice place. So this is my nice office that I've done out, I quite like it, but all I have to do, come over to the laptop, Go over to the browser, as you can see I've got just under 99,000 there, and I recently bought this property as well, which is called Garden After House Construction. So this is the one that I've bought, so that's the one we're going to get into, we're going to look around it and upgrade it, so let's go. Alright, so what do we have? We have a lot of rubbish, a lot of rubbish. Now they have recently updated the game to put the lawnmower in, so let's just have a look at that quickly. This is a little lawnmower. Um, how do I use it? Like that. And, oh, that's how we go forward. That's how we go backwards. How do we cut? A. There we go. It's not too bad. I'm going to have to clear out the rubbish before I do that, though. So, let's jump off of that. There we go. Yeah, let's just carry on looking around the place. So, we've got loads of rubbish. It's a really big place, though. Two floors. I've never done a two-floor yet on this game. And we've got a garage as well. Can we go in? We can. Let's get the doors open. Anything in there? Nope, just completely empty. So I could just turn that into whatever the hell I want, pretty much. That's not bad, though. Um, okay, we've got a space for a back door. We've got a front door. We've got loads of trees that I'm going to have to cut down. Yeah, we've got some dumpsters and everything to clear out. That's not too bad. And then we've got inside. Okay, this looks pretty nice. I might actually end up knocking these walls down though, because I quite often do that. I often knock down all the walls in the place and then just build it how I want it. But we'll see. We'll see what that's like. I mean, I don't like the fact that it's got this little bit sticking out here. That's just really weird to me. There's no need for that. Why not just build the walls straight across? But yeah, that's ground floor. We've got a nice little window here. Anything under? Nope, nothing under there. Go up the stairs. Um, what we got out here? Oh, we've got a nice little balcony area. That's not bad. Some nice windows. And a nice big open space. And we've got a little balcony at the front as well. So yeah, looks like quite a nice place. So let's get to tidying up and clearing it all. And I haven't actually finished yet. There's apparently a bit here. I don't know where it is though. I can't see any long grass there. But there we go. So, we are now done. We have completely cleared all the mess out. There's no dirt left to tidy up at all, I don't think. Not that I can see. So, that's pretty good. So, now, it's all about planning what I'm going to do with the inside. So, first thing. Demolition. There we go. That's a little bit better. That maximises space a little bit more. It just gives us a bit of room because now we can maybe put a little table there with some stuff on it. And it just gets rid of that stupid little bit where it came out slightly. Although, I've just realised, is that across a window? That is the most awkward placement I've ever seen for a wall. That is really stupid. I may, I may have to knock down all of the walls. I've just built those ones, but I'm going to have to knock them all down. Because that is going to bug the hell out of me. The fact that that's covering up part of the window. That is the worst construction I've ever seen. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now it's all lined up and not actually covering part of the window. That's a lot better. I can't believe they actually put that in. I wonder if that they meant to do that or if it was just a mistake because... They shouldn't have been able to do that because that would have been halfway over where you can actually build. Like if I go back to that, you can see that it does it in segments. And that it would have been halfway, I think, wouldn't it? Or would it have just been this one? Oh, uh, maybe it would have been that one. Not sure. So it might have been a mistake. Or they might have deliberately done it. Don't know what I'm going to turn these rooms into yet. But we do have these rooms done. Not really sure what to do out the back here as well. Like with two there. What I'm thinking is maybe. Oh, no, I want that. 
Why won't it let me select that? There we go. I'll tell you what, since the update, it really has been very laggy. I can tell you that. Right, so I can't build a wall there. So it'd have to come off of there. Which I believe doesn't line up with that edge there. So that's quite annoying. But that's fine. That's not a problem. We don't have to build a wall there. I just thought it'd be quite nice to build it into a kind of conservatory type thing. It would have been quite nice, but it's not a problem. What I'm thinking is maybe what I might end up doing is knocking this wall through and then turning this into a kitchen, dining room, open space. And then out here, you can have a massive living room with a nice little lounge area here as well, like a separate little games area. And then upstairs doing loads of bedrooms and, that, and then put the sauna outside or in the garage. So... If that's what we're going to do, let's knock this wall through. I do wish that they'd put into this game that you can draw blueprints. You know, be before you actually go into the map, what you should be able to do is go into a blueprint screen where it's got it laid out, and then you can actually just draw lines on it of what you want to do, and then it should come up in maybe chalk or something on the floor. That'd be really cool. So then that way you can plan it all without having to walk around and try and guess where you're putting things. It'd just be awesome if you could plan it all and then build it. That's something that they should really look into doing. But for now, we'll just do this. And I think I've just knocked it all through. Even though we've got some floating bits here. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be hitting there. I'm hoping I didn't just destroy this wall. I think that's okay. It's going to be a bit of a weird kitchen dining room. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. What I'm going to do now, because I always do it, is I'm going to do an undercoat using good old white paint. Um, press send in. Uh, paint. White. Do that. Because the white paint is the cheapest paint. And if you paint over already painted walls, it uses less paint. So instead of buying the really expensive paints and then having to buy buckets and buckets and buckets of it, you use the white paint to cover the walls and then you normally just need one tin of the other paint. So it actually ends up saving you money in the long run. So that's something I'm going to do now. So let's just paint over that. Right, now we've finished with that. Let's throw that down. Let's clear that. So now we need to work out where we're putting our kitchen. Now I'm thinking kitchen over this side. Dining room over this side. So let's see if we can find a decent kitchen unit. That looks okay. I'm thinking maybe go for something like that. And then kind of just guess what colour I want to use. Maybe we should do nice black and white. No, that's quite a boring kitchen. Hmm... This is going to get annoying. Let's do black. We can then do... Let's do steel handles. We'll do a grey sink. Because that will match with the steel handles. And I don't think we have marble, do we? We do have granite, though. Oh, that's one of the new things they put in was granite. There's grey marble. Mate. Maybe we could try that. Let's have a look at how it looks. Uh, it's a bit dark and depressing, that. You know, we could do wood and wood. That wouldn't be too bad. Handles. We could go for gold on it. And then we'll still keep it with a nice sink like that. That doesn't look too bad. And that is slightly wonky, I've just noticed. So, this is where for precision rotating, I use the mouse. And for placement. So that could go there. That doesn't look too bad. Then we just need to put in our oven. Which is... Where is it? Electric. There we go. Appliances. Oven. I wish they'd put in a different type of oven as well. They're very boring ovens. Where can that go? There. Now I wonder if I can... F do they do a skinny fridge? 
maybe go for that. No, that's... I mean, we could do that one. No. I was hoping I could do wood. We could do a nice Japanese one. Just do an all-black Japanese one. I mean, that's, that's skinny, so that would work. What else have we got? Is that all they've got for the fridges? Yes. Oh, you got that one, which ain't great. We could turn this one black. Do a bit of black and white. Does that fit? It does fit. We'll do that then. We'll put that in. That doesn't look too bad. Kind of not liking that being wood colour now though. With the fridge being black and white. Right, I'll tell you what. Let's get rid of that. We'll have to go back to it and choose the black and white one. Uh, what one was it? That one. So, let's go for... I mean, we could do black wood, but... No, we'll just go for black. Handles, we'll do a steel. Sink, we could do as... We'll, we'll leave that with the grey. And... Now we just need a decent top, so I'm guessing white... That kind of matches up with it all, so that's not too bad. Let's uh, try and get that placed. There you go, that's not a bad looking kitchen really. It's alright. And that gives us plenty of room for a nice big dining table as well. Gives us plenty of room for it. So, now we need shelves. So let's just type in shelf quickly. Easier to find. What's a good one to have? I don't really like that one. That's not great. And it likes doing that as well. Where I select something and it does that. But that's cool. Shelf for kitchen utensils. I mean, that sounds like a pretty good shelf to me. Can't really attach it anywhere though. That was a very poor placement for me. What we could do, though, if we put that as low as possible. We'll make it look nice, though. A bit like that. Then we could put a shelf above it as well. Maybe one of these. If we can get a white one. Is it... Oh, I think it's that bit too long. And this is the problem using an Xbox controller with it. Oh, no. I think it's just the right length. So what we're going to do is we'll place that one there. And then if we go for the other one and choose, ah, uh, you can't have just black. That's the closest I can get to black, which it, it is pretty close. So what we could do is we could do that. And then that way it works with our uh, theme. Having good old white and black. But now we've got to choose what we want to do for the floor and the walls. So I'm thinking black and white. I mean, I know it's tacky, like very tacky. But I'm thinking we might have to go for something like that, or maybe that. I think it looks quite nice. Very shiny room, but it's still pretty cool. Right, let's turn that off then. See, when you have the light on, that's when it everything looks really white. But once again, why does the countertop look really white with the light off? Like, that doesn't really change that much. Whereas everything else, all of a sudden, becomes very, very white. It's just really bizarre. But, now we need to do doors. So, uh, I don't really like any of these doors for coming into a kitchen, though. But, I guess we'll have to just put down a white one. Let's try and get that lined up. These are very awkward to to line up sometimes let's just do that make sure that's okay on that side yep there you go so all it basically means is if someone's standing at the fridge they might get hit by a door but that's fine and while we're here we could put up some curtains but they'd have to sort of be black which you can't get so we're just going to put blinds up on there on there on there and for some reason it's gone to that, but that's fine. And on there. And now we have to just install them. So, 
get my mouse out to make it quicker and easier than using the Xbox controller. And there you have it. That is the kitchen completely done. Well, apart from putting in the odd bits here and there, but the main actual installation is done, basically. It looks quite nice. You've got the nice blinds up. That looks all pretty good. Don't need to clean the windows either, which is nice. But yeah, that's actually pretty nicely done. So now we have to move on to the dining room. So let's um, try and work out what we're doing. I'm thinking we go for a nice wooden type thing that kind of matches up with the kitchen if we can. So let's do the floor quickly. And we'll try and find, because that's quite light, we might be better off using the light wood floor. Because I think if you go too dark, it's going to clash with that and it's going to look way too different. Or what I might do, if I want to, I can rebuild the wall across there and then put a little doorway in. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes to what we think, whether we leave it open. But I think the light wood flooring is going to be the best option we've got. So, now for a wall colour. This, I'm not looking forward to. This is where I spend most of this game, is in the paint section, trying to work out what I want to put together. This is looking pretty good. This is now the kitchen, which looks awesome. Looks absolutely awesome. I think I've done a brilliant job there, matching everything up and getting everything to fit in such a small gap. And it meant that we actually minimised one of the rooms that it had, because it obviously had the two rooms, and it meant that we could make an even bigger dining room. So we could put in a much bigger table, put in more stuff, and before I forget, like an idiot, let's go into installations, let's do the radiator, put that in there, and we'll put in the long one still, let's just get that done. Right, so what we've done is we've turned these two medium-sized rooms into a large dining room and a, a decent-sized kitchen. I mean, it's quite small, really, but it's got everything in it that you need. Pl plenty of drawer space, plenty of cupboards, fridge, oven, everything you need. Some shelves that I haven't put anything on, but it looks pretty good. Some nice lights in here. Then we've got a dining room, which looks awesome. We've got a little bit of plant life in here. I might put a few extra bits in. You never know. It it, it just depends whether I, I fancy doing that or not. And then we've still got the rest of the house. But this is where I'm going to end the video. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out the next episode in the series of Upgrading This House. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.